Welcome friends, myself Shopta Porni from BioLife. Hope all of you are doing very well. Today we are going to learn about a very important topic of genetics, a very important concept rather, the isoalleles. Okay, so before beginning, I would like to request you to kindly subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell button given below. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. And if you have any doubts, you may leave a comment below in the comment section. Or you may also follow me in my Facebook page, Facebook group or in my Instagram profile. So without further delay, let's begin. See, before knowing what is isoallele, we must know the concept of allele. Okay, what are the alleles? Alleles are defined as the genes that are the members of the same gene pair. Okay, so alleles are actually genes which are member of same gene pair and which are present at a specific loci. Okay, which are present at a specific loci on homologous chromosomes. Okay, and each of them, okay, each of the allele affects a particular characteristic in somewhat different manner than the other, okay. So, let's um, get it through an example, okay. Let's say this one and this one. These two are the homologous pair of chromosome, okay. That means, say this is also a... a X chromosome and this is also an X chromosome. This one has come from your father and this one has come from your mother. Okay, so that means they are the homologous chromosome. Now, this position, this is the loci. Okay, this is the loci for the A allele. In your, uh, in, in this pair of the homologous chromosome, at this position, capital A allele is present and uh, at the same position on the other homologous pair, small A allele is present. So, Capital A and small a are the members of same gene pair. Okay, that is why they are known as alleles of each other. Okay, they are members of the same gene pair and they are present at the same loci on the chromosome. Okay, on the same lo at the same loci on the chromosome at the same position. Okay, but they have a, some kind of different nucleotide sequence that is why they are, they, they are termed um, differently capital A and small a. You can also write it as capital A1, capital A2 like this also. Okay. So these are the two alleles and they affect the same phenotype but somewhat differently. For example, in the Mendel's experiment, we have seen that capital T allele and small t allele. Okay. Capital T denotes the tallness and small t denotes, denotes the dwarfness. That means both of them, capital T or small t, both of them are denoting the height of the plant. But one is denoting the tallness, one is denoting the dwarfness. That means they are denoting a particular characteristic or particular trait but somewhat differently from each other. Okay, so through this example we can... Um, we can satisfy all the terms we have used in the definition of an allele. Okay. So, uh, in a diploid organism, obviously, there can be only two, uh, two uh, forms or two alleles at a time. Okay. Because there are, in diploid organism, there are, uh, in the homologous pair, only two chromosomes are present. Okay. For each chromosome. So, there will be, at a particular time, only two alleles can be present in an individual. It can be both capital A, capital A. That is known as homozygous for capital A, capital A. Or it can be both small a, small a. That is, that means homozygous for small a, small a. Or it can be like one capital A, one small a. Or one small a, one capital A. That means heterozygous for capital A, small a. Okay. This could be the genotypes. Capital A, capital A. Or capital A, small a, heterozygous. Or homozygous, small a, small a. Okay. This could be your genotypes based on the presence of different kinds of allele in an diploid organism. Okay. So, now coming to the concept of multiple alleles. What is multiple alleles? See, here we can see only two forms of the um, gene A. Okay. It can be written as like capital A. 1 and capital A2. We can also write it like this. Okay. Capital A1 and capital A2. So, here only the two forms of the gene A is present. A1 and A2. But, as there could be different kinds of changes in the nucleotide sequence, we can find more than two types of allele. 
alleles in the population okay it can be like capital a1 capital a2 capital a3 capital a4 like that okay but obviously in a diploid organism at a time only two alleles can be present okay so grouping all the possible different alleles that could be present in a population is known as multiple alleles okay so grouping of all the possible different alleles grouping of all the possible different alleles that may be present in a gene pair in a population is known as the multiple alleles okay so in a population obviously there could be different forms of the gene a like capital a1 capital a2 capital a3 capital a4 and so on and all of them are all together known as the multiple alleles but obviously in a diploid organism at a time only two of them can be present like capital a1 capital a2 or capital a1 capital a3 or both of them are capital a1 like this uh, and for the haploid organism only one can be present at a time okay like capital a1 like capital a2 like capital a3 only one can be present okay so this is the overall concept of about allele and multiple allelic system now coming to the iso allele so from here we have to remember one thing uh, before going to the iso allele that alleles are different forms of the same gene pair which affect a particular character in a somewhat different manner okay that means just remember this through capital t small t both of them are denoting the height of the plant but capital t denoting the tallness small t denoting the dwarfness they are denoting somewhat differently okay now coming to the iso allele what does the word iso allele means iso allele means those alleles which act within the same phenotypic range okay same phenotypic range that means he, uh, if uh, we take three alleles like capital a1 capital a2 capital a3 all of them will denote the same phen same character and the same phenotypic range there will be no uh, observable difference in their phenotype okay that is why they are known as iso alleles that means uh, from the mendel's experiment if we take that capital t and small t both of them when both of them will define only the tallness or only the dwarfness then they can be called as iso alleles but that is not possible in case of capital t small t here for the example of iso allele we will take the allele uh, white allele of drosophila eye color okay see here there could be a different uh, drosophila eye color is denoted by the allele small w okay small w okay it is the multiple allelic system there can be different forms of um, this small w gene okay when both the pair there can be different forms of this small w gene ranging from the white to red okay we know that the brick red color or the red color is the wild type eye color of a drosophila okay and uh, abnormal color is those colors which range from white to uh, red, uh, red okay and different gradients from white to red those are the abnormal genotypic color uh, 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 abnormal phenotypes so see here in uh, the multiple allelic system of drosophila's uh, w gene we can see that there are two we can divide it into two groups okay one is non wild group another one is wild group okay in non wild group you will find phenotypes ranging from white to red okay but not the wild color of red okay and there is a different gradients of white to red like white then tinged then apricot apricot means the lightish color of the tea blood white eosin white you know the uh, color of eosin stain cherry red then apricot tree wine color coral color satsuma color okay so there is a gradient from white to red but there is an there is no color which is uh, exactly like the wild brick red color wild type of drosophila is brick red color okay and this here it is the amount of pigment deposited by the deposited in the omatidium okay see what does the w gene does okay what does the w gene do w gene don't produce the red pigment its function is to transport the red pigment to the omatidium omatidium is the unit 
of the drosophila eye okay or any insects eye okay so the gene product of w da, uh, transports the red pigment to the omatidium when both of them are small w small w that means their transportation capacity is lowest that is why the pigment um, uh, the uh, pigment accumulation at the omatidium is least okay when both of them are w coal w coal that means w colored w colored uh, it is near the red colored its uh, pigment deposition amount is 0 0.1636 okay but it is not also the wild color all of them are inside the non wild range of genotypes okay but when we will consider the wild types see here it is our main concern the wild type okay we can find three kinds of alleles stellenbosch okay stellenbosch means w plus s then canton s canton s means w plus c and graph rainet okay graph rainet means w plus g these are the three alleles which are responsible for the wild type of red coloration of drosophila eye and they can accumulate or transport uh, the red pigment from a range 0 0.6854 to 1.2548 and all of them like stellenbosch or cantones or graph rainet all of these three um, alleles can represent the same phenotypic range the same red color okay though there is a quantifying difference between their uh, pigment deposition rate but they can exhibit the wild all of them can exhibit the wild type red color that is not easily distinguishable that means all of them will show the same kind of red color which cannot be distinguished without some special taste okay so these are the three different alleles but they are denoting the same phenotype okay or the same characteristics in the same phenotypic range that means they are denoting the same characteristics means the eye color and the same phenotypic range means all of them are denoting the eye color as wild type of red color okay there is no difference in their phenotypic expression that is why they are known as iso alleles okay i think now the concept is clear just read it alleles like w plus s w plus c w plus g which act within the same phenotypic range of each other are known as iso alleles example all the wild type of genotypes all with these three alleles exhibit wild type of red color and are not easily distinguishable that means iso alleles are those alleles which denotes or exhibits the same phenotype the same phenotypic range okay all of them are exhibiting the same phenotypic range the same red color the wild type of red color of drosophila eye which you cannot distinguish the difference between these three kinds of red you cannot distinguish easily that that means they are denoting the same phenotypic range and that is why they are known as iso alleles okay i think now the concept is crystal clear to you okay so with this i end today's video here if you find it useful don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and happy learning